observed everything about the beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. For example, how he would drink the water, how he would eat the food, how he dealt the people, everything. If we want, if we want to know, we can find it. So today, I will talk about the description of the beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You know, Allah subhanahu wa taala created the creation. And in Allah has tafa min al halqi min bani Adam was tafa min bani Adam al anbiya from his creation Allah subhanahu wa taala chose his servant the son of Adam and from the human beings Allah subhanahu wa taala chose one hundred twenty four thousand. Anbiya alayhim salam From the galaxy of the Prophet alayhim salam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose the Rasul, the Messenger The difference between the prof, uh, Prophets and the Messenger because the, pro, uh, the Messenger and the Prophet are same but the Peygamber Remember only he's a prophet, the but the uh, messenger is prophet as well as the messenger. The messenger who were given a sharia, who were given a book to lead the people, to guide the people, to sending the preaching of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to actually to convey the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to their nations. So from amongst the Rasul, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose five Ulul Azm Rasul Nuh alayhi salam Ibrahim alayhi salam Musa alayhi salam Isa alayhi salam and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Look among these the Musa alayhi salam who used to talk, who used to speak with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly, Musa Kalimullah, the great prophet. And uh, Isa alayhi salam, if we look, Isa alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted him this miracle. When he blow on the dead, so dead would rise with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you know, Ibrahim. From these five, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose Khalilain's name, two friends. Wattakhazallahu Ibrahim Khalila, his friends. And in a hadith, a Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose him as a friend. From these two, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his habib. For this, and from the seal of the prophethood. So today I'm going to talk the best creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So if we, look, if we study the history, especially after the, when Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam received prophethood, that time, if you remember, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave da'wah of Islam. He started sallallahu alayhi wa sallam da'wah from his household. But as you know, not all of them accepted Islam, even the uncles. And then I won't go on that side because my topic is the dis description of the beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to make hijrah from Makkah to Medina. So, beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam shared to Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu. Abu Bakr 
I have to go from Makkah to Medina. So Abu Bakr Siddiq Radiyallahu Anhu requested, Ya Rasulullah, take me with you. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Oh Abu Bakr, you will go with me. So, briefly, Abu Bakr Siddiq Radiyallahu Anhu and his servant Amr bin Fukhira and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam starting his journey. Alhamdulillah. Look, imagine from Makkah to Medina, approximately 490 kilometers. And that time, 1400 years ago, how was that hard journey? When you know the enemy are, were chasing you. So what happened? They were going towards Medina. In his journey, they see a tent, a long tent there. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Sahaba, they were, they were hungry too, you know, they were going. So Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr go and check this tent, someone living there, ask him if they have something to eat or drink. Subhanallah, one of the great Sufi poet, the other Shaykh Saadi Shirazi rahmatullahi ta'ala, feed the birds. <coughs> Sheikh Saadi Shirazi giving us lesson, feed the birds. So what will happen when you feed the birds? Different birds will come and pick up the food. One day, like peacock come, pigeon come, sparrow come, parrot come. So when you, when you giving in the way of Allah, so one day you will see the huma will come. The birds huma. If you know, there's a people say, if he pass by over the head, that guy becomes a king. That's Huma. But the lesson of this poetry, so what? And that tent was the Ummah Ma'bad, radiyallahu ta'ala anha. That time she didn't accept Islam, she didn't know the beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But what, what she do? The Hujjah who passed by, she feared them. She gave drink, milk, or food if she had. So one day, Allah Akbar, Aina Sime Kue Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Aina Sime Kue Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Kitchene la gadil Sue Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Tuba ki janib takne walo Aankhe kholo hosh sambalo Tuba ki janib takne walo Aankhe kholo hosh sambalo Dekho qad dil juwe Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Hamara Kaaba Suwe Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam So that day Ummah Muhammad radiyallahu ta'ala Her received Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam In her house So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked Ya Ummah Muhammad Do you have anything to drink or eat? She said, there was a drought. She had nothing that day. So she said, she didn't know that he's a prophet of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. She said, I have nothing. But only that little goat is here, which is weak. And which never gave a birth. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Okay, if you allow me, can I get milk from it? She was surprised. She said, okay, it is up to you if you want to get milk. Because she never, uh, this little boy never gave a birth. So very weak. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa get permission first. This is a lesson. And then look, subhanallah, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, put the hand, rub the hand of Yadullah. Look, subhanallah. Siyamu wale chan banan chod vida Siyamu wale chan banan chod vida 
جو رحمت والا ہتھ پریندے محمد جو رحمت والا ہتھ پریندے محمد سیاہ موہ والے چن بنن چود ویدا جو رحمت والا ہتھ پریندے محمد تو کیوں نہ آیا او بد نصیبہ تو درتے نہ کیوں آیا بد نصیبہ ہر رنگ دے وچ رنگیں دے محمد ہر رنگ دے وچ رنگیں دے محمد ہر رنگ دے وچ so that God became healthy Prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ملکے and filled the part and gave to Umay Ma'abad رضی اللہ تعالیٰ she ran then Rasul صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم gave to Abu Bakr and Amr bin Fahira they drank then Rasul صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم drank and again ملکے and gave to Umay Ma'abad رضی اللہ تعالیٰ and went on towards Madina Allah Akbar wo alam ka de se hamare chale gaye wo alam ka de se hamare chale gaye جتنے تھے زندگی کے سہارے چلے گے she started crying she didn't know who is his her husband ابو معبد رضی اللہ تعالیٰ came back from grazing the goat and sheep and he saw there was a pot of milk there there was a fragrance perfume he asked his wife من اینا لکی حضا یاہم معبد when he saw the milk where did you get this milk so what she replied اللہ اکبر he said اِنَّهُ مَرَّ بِنَا رَجُلُ مُبَارِكُ a blessed man came a blessed man came I didn't know so what Abu Ma'bad رضی اللہ تعالیٰ said سِفِهِ لِي يَاہم معبد describe him to me describe him to me because he knew the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He heard about the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now she is going to describe, dear brother and sister, look, the fasahat and the balagat. No one can use these kind of words which she used. Look, the woman of desert. Woman of desert. So she is using. So how she introducing the beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. She said, رَأَيْتُ رَجُلَمْ ظاہر الوضع I saw a man of striking appearance اللہ اکبر ظاہر الوضع ابلج الوجہ the radiant face صل اللہ علیہ وسلم حسن الحل beautiful created وسیم فسیم finally made a specimen of the man of the creation سبحانہ لم تعبہ السجلہ the beloved prophet صل اللہ علیہ وسلم belly wasn't protruding was straight لَمْ تَعِبْهُ السَّجْلَ وَلَمْ تُدْرِبِهِ السَّعْلَ And Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had wasn't disproportionate and small. وَفِي عَيْنَيْهِ دَعَجْ In his eyes there was a contrast. Subhanallah, وَفِي عَيْنَيْهِ The white one, immensely white. The black one, excessively. But he has a red lines, which we call the dore. He has a red lines in his eyes. And Ummay Ma'abad رضي الله تعالى explaining. وَفِي لِحْيَتِهِ كَسَاسَ He has full and thick beard. وَفِي أَشْفَارِهِ وَطْفُ Eyelashes were long. وَفِي سَوْتِهِ سَهَلْ In his voice there was a natural echo. Hadra Aisha رضي الله The mother of believers رضي الله تعالى has said When Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم used to speak We were We said in our tent We can hear Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم words Even we can count the words of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in our fingertips. So clearly. Azaj, Akran, Subhana, eyebrows were arched. Wasn't, were arched. Wasn't joined. It was separated. Subhanallah, Peer Mahdi Shah alayhi, Rahmatullahi ta'ala, he says on the abru of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Do abru kos misal disan. جتو نوک مایا دے تیر چھٹن دو ابرو کو اس مثال دسن جتو نوک مایا دے تیر چھٹن لبا سرخ آکھا کے لالے امن چٹے دند موتی دیا ہن لڑیا لک ہیس گیونگ دا ایزمپل ایزا 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 ایز
So Rasulullah Sallam striking the arrows on the heart of the believers. Subhanallah. In Samad Fa'alihi Al-Waqar, when he when he is a, when he was silent, the dignity covered him. Wa in takallama samahu wa alahu al-bahar. When he speaks, it is audible and clear. Aisha Rudi Allahu Taala Rahu said. I was sewing the needle, I was sewing something, so my needle drops. Prophet ﷺ came, I said, Ya Rasulullah, I lost my needle. Prophet ﷺ looked towards down. Because of the radiant of the face of Prophet ﷺ, I found the needle. Uh, and she said, Ajmal al nas wa abhahu min ba'id, from, from afar, most striking in appearance. When he came near, the best of them, most handsome in closeness. Allahu Akbar. Such an exalted and sweet level of logic. Prophet when he used to speak, wasn't long was or wasn't short, just properly. He was to the point. Subhanallah, his logic, his words were like a jewels coming, coming out from the necklace, calculated one after other, follow magically. Rabatun, he was a medium height, wasn't short nor at all. And you didn't have to strain towards look up to, or not tedious towards down. Lahu Rufaqa Yuhafu Nabi. Look the companion with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He always tried to serve and protect him. In qala sami'u li qawli. When he speaks, they used to hearken what he used to say. They used to listen very carefully. Wa in amara tabadahu ila amri. When Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam commanded, he used to compete one another to fulfill that command first. That is our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Amr ibn al-As radiyallahu ta'ala al said, I said many times with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you ask to describe Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I can't describe the description of. Because Sahaba, whenever Sahaba sat down, they never saw. He said two feelings came that time. When we saw Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, because of the nur, because of the radiant face, the Jamal, we can't see properly. And the other things, there's a other. They can't see like we see each other. This is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Time is over. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease and goodness. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the love of, the true love of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his household and his sahaba. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those who follow Quran and Sunnah. Wa ma alina. Ya Rajai, Ya Rajai, Ya Rajai, Ya Rajai.